iPhones going all glass according to reports of more variants to the next iPhones. Those of you that were waiting for the launch of the Huawei Mate 10 Pro in the US, well, you only get half of what you wanted, and CES 2018 coverage includes Razer and TCL. I'm Jaime Rivera, and uh, we've got more content coming up here from CES. This was the less noisy spot that I could find. Let's go through the news. This is Pocket Now Daily. The official news today begin with our coverage of CES 2018. If you haven't caught our videos, we already have one of the Razer Project Linda, which is probably one of the coolest products that I've seen this year, and it's barely getting started. Obviously, there is more to see at CES. In addition to that, we also stopped by Alcatel. We saw the 1, 3, the 5, even though these are concepts, and there are more videos coming up, some of these embargoed. Stay tuned. And speaking of TCL, for those of you that were bitter because the BlackBerry Motion is available everywhere but the United States, it has just been launched in the United States. You can get it uh, for $450 is actually the suggested retail price, and I find it to be extremely aggressive. Yes, we do have the unit. Yes, we will have a review coming soon. We will keep you posted. Now let's talk about Huawei. The company invited us yesterday to a meeting. They had their press event today, and uh, we were expecting the company to announce the Mate 10 Pro on AT&T. And as it turns out, it's only getting launched, unlocked in the US. Uh, for 799 bucks, obviously it's steep, there are no subsidies. There will be a gift card for those of you that pre-order of $150, depending on which retail you pick, so that's great. And Huawei is also making this huge move to have its brand being recognized in the United States. You can learn more in the description. Now let's move the spotlight over to iPhones, obviously territory that's not mentioned here at CES. But for those of you that uh, are concerned about the whole battery thing and wanting to get your replacement, bear in mind, you only have a right to one replacement for 29 bucks. Meaning, if you feel that your iPhone is slow, stop by the Apple Store, they'll replace your battery. But that's it. I mean, next time you want to get a battery replaced, you'll pay 80 bucks which is still not crazy considering that it's a lot less expensive than having to buy a new phone. You can learn more details again in the description. And finally, the very interesting news today has to do with more iPhones. Uh, we've been wondering when the refresh to the iPhone SE is going to happen, and we've got some trusted sources claiming a couple of things. Number one, that we should expect that phone early this year. We had already covered that from other sources in the past, but now we also hear that uh, this phone will be all glass. And the reason why is because uh, Apple wants to make their wireless charging across the board, meaning the new standard for iPhones in 2018 will be all glass. It leads me to the question today, do you think that the iPhone SE still has a market? Do you think that Apple should launch it? In my case, hey, if they brought that design of the iPhone 10 to the iPhone SE, I feel that would be a hit. If they adopt the new 18 by 9 or whatever crazy aspect ratio Apple has for the iPhone 10. But hey, leave us a comment down below. We'd love to know your opinion. Friends, again, if you want to get the news earlier, follow us on PocketNow.com and subscribe to our channel by hitting this button up here. You're going to watch yesterday's PocketNow daily up here. And our thoughts on the new Razer Project Linda down here. You can also follow me on Twitter, Jaime underscore Rivera, on Instagram at Jaime Rivera. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like what you saw. I am Jaime Rivera. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you tomorrow.